Get ready to match the stars. John Galloway. Brett Summers. Charles Del Cerrone. From Barnaby Jones, Lee Merriweather. Bill Daly. And Patty Doyle. As we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game 79. And now, here's the star of Match Game 79, Gene Rimmer. Hello, Johnny. Everybody ready? You're going to have a good time today because the coop are loose again. <laughs> oh, I'd like to welcome Don Galloway, who's never done this show before. Yeah, and the uh, coop looks straight at me. Thank you. Very busy actor around town in films and television, and it's a pleasure to do business with you, and you too, my dear. Thank you very much. And well. you! Hi. Isn't that something? Santa Claus! Santa Claus, yeah. Let me take it off and show you my other gray one. <laughs> <laughs> Charles Nelson. Charles walked into the makeup room, and he was getting a little makeup, and Charles said, Put it's coming on. off right here. Uh, <laughs> a little more glue here. No, that's real, isn't it? Let's say hello to Jay Brooks and Debbie Jones over here. Dave's a chance of $950. Right. We met Debbie just as we were going off the air last time, didn't we? Yes. Now you want to get, touch over lightly on the events of your life that are, have been interesting? Well, I'm originally from Detroit, Michigan. I'm a student at L.A. Southwest. <laughs> and I'm just enjoying California. Well, good for you, Debbie. Good luck to both players. We'll begin by asking you to make a selection here, A or B? B. Okay, B for Debbie. Everybody will play Skinny Mini comes from the world's skinniest family. When they all sit together, they look like a box of blank. <laughs> skinny Minnie. Skinny Minnie comes from the world's skinniest family. When they all sit together, they look like a box of... <laughs> okay, Debbie. Skinny Minnie comes from the world's skinniest family. When they all sit together, they look like a box of... Toothpicks. Toothpicks is good! Now, did you get the idea? I'm so embarrassed because all I could think of was sardines and toothpicks. Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. New kid on the block. He's okay. Right off the bat, he matches, comes up with the definitive answer. Quick as a flash. Yeah. He said, okay, spaghetti. Spaghetti's a good one. Okay, spaghetti, you don't tall, pay your skinny. property taxes. <laughs> Whatever you do. Now, wait, mine have been lowered. Oh, they won't be, honey. Today, this very day as I left for work, I got a little notice. My, they have been tripled. I'm going to get that Jerry Brown if it's the last thing I ever do. <laughs> and I'm watching on Sacramento, and anybody who wants to join me, contact me. The question is on. Oh, yeah, I'm mean, it. I want to join me. Don't, their don't damn write to me. Don't write to me. I have nothing <laughs> to do with this. I have nothing to do with this show. <laughs> <laughs> the congresswoman will be in Glendale on the 11th. She'll be speaking in Santa Ana. <laughs> okay, Chuck. Why don't you and Bella as Duck play Vegas? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I said matches only because I like to plug matches the show. Matches is good. Now we've had the three really terrific answers up here on the top tier that would be acceptable. <laughs> Debbie's uh, matched one of them so far. She said toothpicks. Skinny Minnie comes to the world's skinniest family. When they all sit together, they look like a box of toothpicks. What do you say to that? I'm afraid I, my allegiance to the show also shows. All right, two matches. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and what do you say there? I'm the sorry, I don't, we've got no stinking matches. I said that. All sorry right. About that. The bearded sage has spoken. <laughs> now, what is the naked lady, the naked, <laughs> naked, naked forehead lady? You know, you look naked with no bangs to me. I'm so grateful I thought you were going to say bangless. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't say yeah. that. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I said linguini. Linguini! <laughs> That's a form of spaghetti. Yes, if you'd spend is. spaghetti, we would have matched that. Okay. We'll have a question for you in a moment. Right now, we have this for America. No. Now, Jay, your first round question reads, Old Oscar is the world's oldest politician. How old is he? I'm sorry, 
sorry, you're fired. <laughs> In his first political race, he ran against blank. That's how old he is. Old Oscar, the world's oldest politician. There old. are no old politicians, only rotten politicians. <laughs> I'm not paying anyone money uh, that bloody government. <laughs> Well, I think you've had it with Goodson and Tom, Miss Jill. Okay, Dave. First of all, I've seen your property, and I don't know why they would ever want to catch the little picture. Here we go, Jay. Old Oscar is the world's <laughs> oldest politician. In his first political race, he ran against... Abe Lincoln. Abe Lincoln. Right, President Lincoln. Yes. Well, now, uh, there's a round one question, and, you know, there are all kinds of possibilities here, as you will find out. I will, in my mind, I went back further than Abe Lincoln, did you? Well, I you go will... back farther than Abe Lincoln. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> we both go back. We both go back. I'm having enough trouble I'm, with what's her name. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah. I could only think of property taxes, but I'm with you. I went a little overboard, too. I went way back to Cleopatra's boyfriend. Jay Caesar. Yes. He was a Republican. Back. He was a Republican, wasn't he? Yes. What do you say? Regardless of race, color, creed, or political persuasion, they all stink. Yeah. Caesar. Caesar. That's two Caesars. And Socrates. Socrates. He was, uh, I thought, oh, he was, uh, yes, Socrates is good, more of a philosopher than a politician, wouldn't you say, Lee? <laughs> yes, yes. In his first political race, he ran against... The father of our country, George Washington. He G. Thought. Washington, okay. Okay. Harry. I have Millard Fillmore. No, I've got George Washington, too, that's right. G. Washington. Are we copying each other or something? No. No, they're very creative. What do you got there, Patty? Boring. The late Moses. The late Moses. <laughs> Now that's going back. Yeah, that's, that's, that's some old politician, <laughs> wouldn't you agree? Okay, we go to round two, Debbie A or B again. I'll try B again. B again. Oh. One person does not play, that's Don, who matched Debbie in the first round. Hey, did you hear about the nearsighted farmer? Uh oh. Uh -huh. Tell you about him. Once he went in his barn, tried to blank his tractor. <laughs> yep. Went right in the barn. Went right the barn, tried to blank his truck. Yes, sir. Right. It's good. Yes, there are many possibilities there. He doesn't play. I was just filling around. Okay, Jay, here we go. Old, uh, this near... Oh, I beg your pardon, Debbie. This, uh, <laughs> nearsighted farmer, once he went in his barn and tried to blank his tractor. Milk his tractor. Tried to milk his tractor. Okay. You. I do have a suggestion. Yeah, no, okay. no, no. Well, well, let's just pass. <laughs> what the country's trying to do to us? Milk us dry. That's right. <laughs> oh, what a tenacious woman you're sitting Two next to. Two points at a plants on a step does not a frontage make. <laughs> Milk. Milk, okay. <laughs> all right, Debbie, you got three all together now, Lee. Nearsighted farmer went in the barn, tried to milk his tractor. Can you imagine what happened to his hand? Yes, yeah, right. You know how to do that. You grab, you grab the spark plug wires, you see, and you just... Oh, oh that's smart. <laughs> okay, Beardy. I got a little milk pail job here, too. All or... right. That's time for Debbie. Now we would expect you to give the conventional answer here. Yeah, well, I was going to say Mary. To Mary, yeah. But I didn't. You changed no, your mind. No. I said milk. You did, indeed. Okay. Now, Jay. Oops, oh, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Send it back up here. Would you? Uh, thank you very much. I accidentally pushed the button here. Now I got to go through. <laughs> I've never done this before. Uh, okay, here we go, Jay. Robbie the robot said, "When I was born, I wasn't like the other babies. Instead of an umbilical cord, I had a blank cord." <laughs> Do you understand? Yes. <laughs> Good. I love living in this country. 
and I will continue to do so. I love my governor and my president. I hate them both. And you will pay your taxes. Yes, because like wait, you he citizen. goes over the night and finds out they've doubled his taxes. There'll okay, be here a we go. different song to sing tomorrow. Cool it. Important moment for Jay here. He's got to match all six celebrities to achieve a tie to stay in the game. Robbie the Robot said, When I was born, I wasn't like the other babies. Instead of an umbilical cord, I had a blank cord. He had an electric extension cord. An electric extension cord is what he said. All right. We need six of those. Uh, seems right. Hey, old Don Galloway's okay. No, no, Don Galloway. All right, he catches on very quick there. Nice work, John. What do you got? He's cute as a button, smart as a whip, electric cord. Okay, that's two. We need them all there. I think that's the match extension. That's it. Cord now six to three. You need three more here in the bottom tier, Jay. Lee? I was a little nervous until, uh, until Charles Hiya, stood up for you know, So I don't have yeah. to fight or anything. I know all it's right, extension. Seven <laughs> umbilical cord. I had an extension cord. Anyone going out with Linda Ronstan can't be all that bad, so we'll just uh, put that. <laughs> Extension cord there. Okay. <laughs> Five. Now, Jay, do we get a tie or don't we? I don't know. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> Only Patty knows whether the game is going to end up in a tie or whether Debbie Jones will win the game. I didn't know you went out with Linda Ron. <laughs> <laughs> I said extension. There it is. Okay, now, since the game ended in a 6 to 6 tie, we're going to erase this score here and uh, push the button, revealing one tie-breaking question for each, and the one who's matched the most celebrities will be the winner. Debbie, A or B? Stick with B. All right, it's been good to you, hasn't it? Ben said, My apartment is so sleazy... How sleazy is it? Sleazy is it? My timing, that's, that's what I'm... Good you're, comics were noted for our timing. Yes. You're worse than they are. <laughs> Ben's in my apartment is so sleazy, instead of wallpaper, the walls are covered with blank paper. <laughs> instead of wallpaper. The walls are covered with blank paper. Sleazy, sleazy. yeah. Sleazy apartment. Yeah. yeah I like well, that. remember first. I like that. Bit. Well, this we'll is a time break. Really. Yeah. Okay. Make up your mind. Entirely up to you. I have okay. no decision in this whatsoever. Okay, Debbie. Ben said my apartment is so sleazy. Instead of wallpaper, the walls are covered with blank paper. Newspaper. Newspaper. Okay, it's a good one. <laughs> You had newspaper, and oh, you threw God. it away I there. Okay. Well, I always throw the newspapers away. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, well, John. Unfortunately, not going for the definitive answer, but still trying to maintain some class, I said toilette tissue papier. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry. That's one possibility. What have you got? That's a real classy act, right? Well, it's just a sleazy apartment. Toilet papers are the class yeah. answer? Yeah. Shocking! Fly! Fly paper. Okay. Newspaper is what the lady I must wants. I still st sell big in your neighborhood, fly paper. <laughs> she, you know, she moves on Beverly Hills now. She's so far from Beverly Hills, one block north is Parley's Verdes. <laughs> papier de toilette. Uh, papier de toilette, okay. <laughs> Debbie, so far we have no fly, uh, no newspaper here. In a sleazy apartment, instead of wallpaper, the walls are covered with... What do you got? I'm very embarrassed. You're embarrassed? Yes. Well, no, they gave all the rotten answers already. The worst toilet? The worst in toilet show? Yeah. Well, it's just that they did it with class and I did it... Just TT paper. TT Oh, Lee, eh? Toilet tissue. That's how I grew up. Toilet tissue, yes. Fly fly paper. Fly fly. Fly fly. Your mother was too embarrassed to say it, huh? Okay. What do you got there? Potty paper. Potty paper. <laughs> I'm really surprised.
the newspaper didn't come up one time there. Now, Jay, you're in the catbird seat. All you can do is match one and you will win. Marvin the Mugger is the nicest guy <laughs> in the world. Oh. After he shoots you, he gives you a blank. <laughs> Marvin the Mugger, nicest guy in the world. After he shoots you, he gives you a blank. Always oh, moved for one afternoon in six years. I mean, it just went like this. I came in one day with a couple of shirts. Does anyone want to be on this show? I said, yeah. Six years. You've never had a longer run, have you? Come on. Shh, don't holler. Isn't she pleasant? Yeah. <laughs> what got into you today? Other than all That's that. all. That's all. I got to. I, Never go to the mailbox. Uh, Never go to the mailbox on a working day. Okay. <laughs> Marvin the Mugger is the nicest guy in the world. After he shoots you, he gives you a blank. He gives you a kiss. A kiss. <laughs> Possible we may end up in a scoreless tie. <laughs> so uh, keep your fingers crossed there, Debbie. All right, done. The entire image of the mugger kissing me didn't work. I said bandage. Bandage is good. Yeah, after he shoots, he gives you a bandage there. Oh. Or, or blood transfusion or anything like that. What? Now you had to go and blow my answer, didn't you? <laughs> transfusion. Oh, transfusion, yeah. Sure, all those are good answers there. My friend is here, Alex Cecilia. For over 40 years, he's my friend. I just moved out here, and he's Italian. I've always been with Italians, and I didn't want to do that like you didn't want to do that kissing the dead body, which is terrible, but... Baccio de morte. If, yeah. Exactly. If yeah. you've had an Italian upbringing, you yeah. would know it's perfectly all right. Yeah. 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 Pleasure to meet you. Good. Send some gifts your way for Match Game 79. Debbie Jones, ladies and gentlemen, goodbye. The spinner off. The spinner matches the two gifts for you. Here we go again. Ready to have another go at it? This is his third win here. He's got $1,050. Let's see what he'll do now. We polled the studio audience not too long ago. Jane said, write down your best answer to this. Blank my wife. $500 for matching the most popular answer. Have you matched the second most popular? $250. And then, matching the third most popular answer, $100, three of the six stars will offer some assistance. Sing out there. I'd like to sing out with Charles. Take my wife. <laughs> Take my wife. Please. <laughs> um, Don? I love my wife. I love my wife. You better. She's right upstairs. Hear that, Linda? Where is she? Yeah, She's in my dressing room. <laughs> oh, it's gross. It's gross. That's uh, what's Don so his wife today. Yeah. He does love his wife. Yeah. And uh, Lee. It's, uh, well, that's not my, that's not my something. That's my wife. That's my wife. I don't know how that. That's not my yeah. lady. That is that's a lady. That's my wife. That's my uncle. That was my wife. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Roger can't uh, write that many words. Roger, <laughs> write down. That was no lady. That was my wife. We'll wait, Rog. <laughs> We're waiting, Rog. <laughs> Seven million dollars an hour. We're waiting. Right. We're waiting, Rod. No waiting at the camera, Rod. Do your job. <laughs> My wife. Oh, right. Roger's hobby is riding roller coasters. And I think okay. he rode one too many. <laughs> You have. I love my wife, take my wife, and that was no lady, that was my wife. You want one of those, or have you got a better one? No, I've got one already. It's take my wife. Take my wife. Okay, that's the famous Henny Youngman line. Where are you, Henny Youngman? Let's see if he's down there under the $100 number. Kill oh. my wife. <laughs> now, I ask you, audience, would you have said that? Oh. What kind of audience did we have that day? The bread. The Brett Summers property tax amendment. <laughs> okay, let's see the $250 number. I love my wife. Okay, here goes the last chance for Take My Wife. Jay, slide the big one. Yes, sir. Good. Now, Jay, the least you play for... Oh, is $5,000. We'll get to that a little bit later. Right now, we want to do this for you.
Listen, you were wonderful. Thank, Thank you. you all for Thank participating you. today. Thank you. We look forward to seeing all of you next time we get together. Now, let me, uh, can I see a tight shot of uh, Bill Daly's beard here? The sight oh, no yeah, man should see and live. I thought you were my beard. No, no. no. <laughs> I'm just wondering whether you need to darken it a little. Oh, it's really gray. I darkened it already. I'm, oh, you gray. Did I'm very old. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> my hair is gray. My skin's gray. I'm just all a gray mess. <laughs> I darkened my suit was gray. I darkened everything. <laughs> just Join us next time for Match Game 79. Thank you all. See you later. Goodbye. Goodbye. This is Johnny Olson speaking for Match Game 79, a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production. The program has been edited for broadcast.